Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Bright Stitcher. It is Saturday, May 27th. It's Memorial Weekend, so I'm going to do uh, my May update, I guess. Um, I was not going to do Stitch Mania, and then I was going to do Stitch Mania, but I didn't really make definite plans because I have several of the pieces I started last year in Stitch Mania that I have not touched since. Well, I picked one of them up um, yesterday, but I ended up just being so busy with end of school stuff with the girls and end of the Girl Scout troop stuff and life that I kind of ended up not doing it. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, last year I went in gung-ho and I think I did four or five days and then just stopped. So... Maybe more. I think I did seven or eight new starts. But anyway, um, I've done quite a bit of stitching actually this month. Um, I've been sick with a head cold the past week, and it's been an awful one um, with the sore throat and the gunk in the head and low fevers just make you feel miserable. And and of course now Elizabeth has it. So yay. So that's been fun. Um, so I've got tiny tiny bit of haul at two little things yeah because I'd ordered some stuff from one two three stitch last weekend and it won't be here until Tuesday so two little things I've got some whips and that's about it those may not be too long of a video but we'll see um I finished up the April of the fabulous women in history stitch along um, to finish up Jane Austen. I know I'd had Elizabeth done before in my last video because I remember talking about the crown, but I don't think I had Jane Austen done by then. So she is done, and I just started the guy next to Sacagawea. So I am going to change on this Queen Victoria is also in May, and I'm going to change. There's a building a house, I believe, next to her. Um, and I don't know what the house is, what the significance is behind it, but I saw someone did um, Westminster Abbey next to her. They were able to, I don't know where they found it, but I'm going to try and copy off of them and do that because that makes more sense to me since I don't know what the house is behind her. It just looks like a house. So, there's that. Um, sorry. Okay. Yesterday I picked up, this is a mania start from last May. It's Lizzie Kate's Hello Spring kit. And I had had the two blue flowers done last year and the bird and I finished up the little potted flower Finn somebody's yelling then the spring kids are yelling upstairs oh sleepy now hey. Okay. And then I picked up, okay, this is Cross Stitch Nation. I got this chart a year ago. I love this chart. Don't know why I don't stitch on it. Actually, I can probably tell you why. Because the girl in the middle, her skirt's so big. Doing long, I don't know what it is, but doing long lines one color drives me insane. I I don't like doing just a line. Give me a bunch of little five, six, eight, three. You know, give me a bunch of little lines. It could be a block, which is different. That's fine. But when it's a line of 40-ish, uh-uh. It's just not fun. So anyway, um, as of, whoops, 
a week ago I'd had just her torso and head done and I have changed the colors I didn't I don't honestly think I had any of the cult for colors so I've switched them out for other random um, hand dyed over dyed threads some gas there's some crescent colors in here I know I have a couple of Victorian um, sampler motto threads so I picked this back up and that's where I am and now I'm going man, now there are long lines across the skirt I don't want to do it but I've picked it up so I guess that's good right so geez, And what is this one? From the Blackbird Designs Sweet Land of Liberty book that came out last year. It is, what is this one called? In Full Glory. This one I'm working on, you know, which shocks me because it looks big in the picture. It's not. It's really not. This is where I am. And I am using, I believe, mm, no, I don't think I am using all the called for threads. I'm pretty sure I've, yeah, I've changed a lot of those out too. Well, what can you do? You know, you have so many reds and browns and blues that just happen to be not the exact right shade. You just use it for that. Again, here's more crescent colors. Um, the blue I'm using is Primitive Clouds. From Victorian Motto. I really like these. I like these because it's only two dollars for 20 yards on eBay for an overdyed thread. Whereas you're paying how much for a thing of gas? For five yards? Anyway, come on. It's good thread. It's DMC, but she dies. So but anyway, this ends up being up to there. Yeah. That here so yeah it's much smaller than it looked in that picture but I'm sure if I'd use clearly a larger count I believe I'm using a 32 count raw linen because it's very crunchy you know that feeling like you're like a oh, what is on here I blame it on the kids I don't know what it is but it, it almost feels like stitching on like a, a metal screen, like a window screen, a mesh screen. That's what it reminds me of. Okay. See, I've done a lot of stitching. I really have. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to do this. Okay. The oh, stitch along, stitch alongs. I mean, this is the year of stitch alongs, right? And then I went and joined two more <laughs> the last couple of weeks. Um, the Doreen Jones tea and cakes, cakes and teas, um, that Lakeside Needlecrafts is hosting. It's free, so free. Um, working that. I downloaded it. I haven't started it. I haven't even picked out what fabric I want to do. Um, but it's cute and it's free, so. And the second part's already out. I'm surprised that they're. It's moving so fast. You know what? I'm not going to put this back together. I'm just going to pass it in here because it'd be a rebel. Okay, so this is Ship's Manor's uh, Manor. Ship Manor? Why do I say Manor? Ship Manor's um, Mystery Town Sampler, right? And this is where I am. Okay, so we have Building 1 is the barn. Building 2 is my 5 and dime. Three, you got a choice of houses on the top. I chose the blue because that's my favorite shade of blue. And then it had this little um, log cabin barn over here. And then there's like a, a mansion going on here in the middle, which I chose the one that is a tealy blue, which is the same shade as one of these blues I can't remember which and then it has a yellow not a bright bright yellow but a soft yellow and then it has that lavender color and I've started it but I need to get the landscape finished up the problem is I have 
three, four, five stitch alongs I'm doing. And this has just become a year for I'm doing nothing but stitch alongs. And when I'm not stitching on them, when I'm stitching on something else, I feel guilty because I'm not caught up on my stitch alongs. And, you know, I thought it was bad two or three years ago when I was doing my first stitch along, which was a, it was a Frosted Pumpkin um, Classic Stories where they were all in the little frames. And I couldn't keep up with that one. And that was the only one I was doing. So, guilt. Why do I feel guilt about what I'm stitching? I think it's because I have so many things I want to have done that I would like to see up on my walls that I have ideas for. But since they're all for me, I can't seem to get it done. You know, if it's a gift for my mom, I know. I, okay, I want to give this to mom for her birthday. I work on it. I get it done. Like, I'm going to do one for my dad, I think. Um which I just ordered from 123Stitch. It's Little House Needleworks. Is it the Big Red Barn or Old Red Barn? And my dad had an old red barn on his farm. Um, and just tore it down 10, well, maybe 15 years ago. I know it was after I left. But it had been there almost 100 years. I mean, it wasn't a big two-story... You know, the huge ones with the big loft in it. It was a one-story barn, but it was an old barn that my dad's family had built. That my dad, you know, he had his little workshop stuff in there. And my cat had billions of kittens in there. And, you know, it was our, it was, we called it a shed in the barn. But anyway, you know. <clears throat> anyway, that's, I was going to do it for his birthday. So, because I did a Stony Creek um, tractor for him. It's like a replica of a red Ford a few years ago. Like 15 years ago. Jeez. I was mad. Because that was going to be my first piece I was going to work on even weave. And I got scared. Like I bought the even weave. Um, I know I bought it from Hobby Lobby because that's at the time all I had around me. And it was like a khaki color. Tan khaki color. Or mushroom. Something like that. And it. I was like, this will be perfect. I'm going to do it. I can do this. And I did like three stitches. I'm like, I can't do this. It was just the Stony Creek with all that back stitch. That was crazy. And then it had, you know, the big tractor tires that are black. And they were like, I don't know, four or five inches. Because this ended up being a good size piece. It, it's in an 8 by 10 frame. And it almost filled it. And there was so much back stitching in black on those tires that were already black and like super dark gray. I ended up fudging a bunch of it. I couldn't see it. Like I can't see what I'm stitching in black thread on the black to backstitch it. That makes no sense. So I had to look at it because I ended up doing it on Ada on a similar tan color. <laughs> and I framed it myself and it was a shoddy idea. Ugh. You all would shame me, shame me out of the Crossers community if you saw my framing on that. But I really ought to get a picture of that because it hangs in his his room at the house. It should. I haven't looked at it up close for a long time. Okay, so I know my last video was like towards the end of April, but I can't remember when in the end of April. And I know I worked on this at the end of April because we were watching the Sing movie when I was backstitching it. So I'm going to show it anyway because I don't remember. Spring Garden Fairy. I may have shown this. I think I remember doing that. Anyway, it won't hurt you to look at it because it's pretty. Her skirt is pretty much done. And her feet are done. So. And this is um, hand dyed by Stephanie. Cotton Candy. Perhaps it's a 28 count Joblin and I love it. And you know, I love linens. I love I like Lugana. I always thought Lugana was my favorite. I really did. And I always thought Joblin's just too soft. But after when I started this one a year ago, was this maybe last year? Maybe? No, it wasn't. Maybe, maybe it was. I don't, don't know. It. It's just, it's so, and I know a lot of it is when they're dyed and 
been washed and you know ironed out and whatnot they get softer but I really like Stephanie's Joblin. The 28 count, I think, is almost my favorite. But sometimes the 28, when you're stitching it, just looks so big. Because I'm so used to 32. But then some of my 32 seem so tiny. It drives me nuts. So, oh, and I have finish. A little finish, but I have finish. Okay, so. Next up, what's funny is I am because of how much I've been stitching lately in the evenings. Everything I'm picking up, I can remember exactly what I was watching, like the Blackbird Designs, um, what was that called? In full, full Glory? I don't remember. But the house, the red house, called the midwife. That's what I was watching last time I saw what I stitched on that. And again, this was the, or the Spring Garden Fairy. I was watching the Sing movie, which is cute. If you have kids, you should watch it. If you don't have kids and you like those funny kid movies, it's cute. Watch it. My girls love the music. Um, Spring by Cricut Collection. I worked on that quite a bit, but was hoping to have it done, but of course, you know, I don't. Um, I was watching, what was that, 13 Reasons Why when I started watching it, or working on it. And then last week when I was working on this, I was watching Dr. Pole because I'm obsessed with Dr. Pole. I'm going to go stalk him at his little veterinary clinic. So we have I and N finished, and G has started, but at this point, I'm going to say this is being put away for next year. But it's pretty, isn't it? Pretty, so pretty. And the N is a one shade darker than called for. I think it's called for like 340 or 341. I'm using the opposite. Because the one it called for almost perfectly matched the fabric. And that just kind of scared me a little bit. So, oh, and the needle minders are um, delicious threads. The fox and Beauty and the Beast. Because it's Beauty and the Beast. Just kidding. Okay. See? I, I so. And I'm not done. I've got more whips I've been working on. I'm telling you, I've been stitching. This week I've been stitching a lot because I've been, you know, this cold virus, whatever this is I've got, that I'm getting over, but I'm still, you know, I still sound lovely. This has knocked me on my butt this week to the point because <clears throat> I work from home online and I set my own schedule, do what I want. Well, I, okay, I have two jobs. One of them I have to do every day, but it's only an hour. It's, you know, super easy. The other one um, is whatever I want, you know, I make what I want. So I didn't touch anything this week, like nothing until Thursday. Thursday I did a little bit for like an hour. And then yesterday I did a couple hours. But yesterday was the first official day of summer. So and Abby got out early on Thursday. So I didn't get, you know, summer messes everything up, but Elizabeth being home and she's been real good this week. Just letting me just kind of, I've just kind of vegged on the couch really. Um, but I've stitched more <clears throat> and usually I can't stitch when I'm sick for some, something keeps me from being able to focus. Like if I'm congested in my head, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is can't stitch when I'm sick and I was able to a little bit this week but anyway so this week did not go the way I planned but it's just how it is um okay so I joined the of course another this is kind of another stitch along it's Country Cottage Needleworks Main Street uh Main Street Flower Shop was the first part the fabric they used is something sapphire. What was that called? Star Sapphire Linen, 32 count by Witch Elf. Um, I looked at it and the DMC number it said it relates to, and I took that DMC number 
to my fabric supply because I know I have a lot of different greens and this green looked very similar. This is a Silk Weaver. Um, what kind is that? It starts with a W. Wexford linen. I love the Wexford linens because you can see up close, you get some darker, almost brownish threads running through there. Um, I'm doing Stargazer on a Wexford linen also. And I mean, these, ugh. overall, this is my absolute favorite type of fabric to stitch on, but you can only get it from Silk Weaver. So I only have a couple pieces. I don't really feel like gambling with my money anymore with them. So this is more, it's darker than, and more earthy tone than I thought it would be because when you look at, oh, I don't know if it shows that, almost six more, okay. The house colors look more teal. No, they look more light blue, blue shades of blue in this picture. In person, they're more bright teal. Mm. So I was thrown off by the colors when I pulled them out compared to what's in the, yeah. These look more blue, this looks more green, okay. I'm doing it all on one piece. And so I started it, I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna work, I just don't know, but I think it'll be fine. The next house is, a, is Shades of Yellow. And, no, I don't have it down here. Um, it's like 743 and 745, they're very close. And then there's a pink house and purple house, and that's like 604, and then 210, 208 are the purples. So I threw them all on here. I'm like, okay, I think it's going to work. And it's for me, so, you know, whatever. If I do a couple houses and really hate it, I just will stop. But I think it's going to be fine. I just, and I do plan on, since I'm doing them all together, I am, as of now, omitting, I'm not stitching the border at the bottom or top. I might do the one at the bottom. Um, Vana, the Twisted Stitcher, has done, she's doing it all in one piece, and she has created her own border around, and at the top in the middle it says Main Street, real pretty. Um, and she has it on her blog. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to try and use her border. And I'll have to look and see. I'm not sure if she used the the branch leaf bit in there or at the bot in the middle. I don't recall honestly, but I'll have to look and see. But I know as of now I'm not gonna stitch that top because for one, borders aren't my thing. They're boring too. It's that constant repetitive I don't know, I don't like repetition. But yet I love things that are the same. So explain that. Okay. Next up we have oh, this is another stitch along my joint I love this one I was at the dentist May 1st I remember that for a shoot I can't show it I'd had a root canal in April and he had to do the crown on top of the root canal so I'm sitting there and I'm you know waiting to get numb and I'm looking on Facebook and I see somebody posted that Jardine Privé has a stitch along going on. And I'm like, oh, do they now? And someone posted pictures of it and it's like a stitcher's alphabet. But it's massive. Massive. Like 40 inches long. About 5 inches wide. And I think roughly 40, 42 inches long. And so they were stitching it. They recommend stitching it on like a stitching band. But all the bands I could find are like three inches wide. And the ones that I could find that were like five or set, like there's some that are seven inches wide, only like 18 inches long. This ain't going to work. And I don't want to order fabric in from Europe. And I have a yard of ale from to Lugana. It's picture this plus ale on Lugana. I had a yard of it that I'd gotten off one, two, three stitch last fall when they had them 40% off. So I have started it. I have changed the threads. There are like 
three blues, three pinks, three greens, and two, three, maybe three or four browns and a cream. Okay. And I changed out because the colors were, I would almost say very 70s-ish to me. So I made them more me. And of course, I don't remember exactly what colors. I said, yes, I do. I wrote them down. And I don't have a picture of the whole thing, but like the A is for Ada, B is button, C is for cotton, and she has different geometric like. Here, maybe you can kind of see through the back. There. Can you kind of? No. Mm, there you go. Can you kind of, without me showing you the chart, see? Okay, you've got Ada button. She's holding a needle and thread. And then it's got like a picture of um, almost like lace, stitch lace at the bottom. For, but anyway, so I switched colors out. I'll have to remember to pull next time. If I work on this more, clearly I'm not working fast. And I'm using some um, overdyed. I switched out a green for overdyed. And instead of doing one long, 40 some inch long piece, because for one thing, you're then looking at three and a half inch, three and a half feet long. I don't have a whole lot of space in my house to be hanging things where I don't have to be worried about kids touching it. Basically, nowhere in my house is safe with Elizabeth. She's five. So I am doing it in two columns. Um, it's like it's 500, it's 600, 565 stitches long, I think. So I was able to find, she, it's in six sections. The fourth section has not come out. So I was looking, okay, the third section is more than half by like, this much, a couple inches. So I was able to find a spot where I'm going to, this is going to be my bottom and I'm going to have two columns. So two five inch columns. So A through M. I don't remember what it ends in. And then the other side is going to be the rest of the alphabet. So mine will end up being, I'm doing it on the fat quarter. 20 inch, about 20 inches long and it'll end up being 10, 11, like 12. 11 inches wide because I'm putting, I'm not sure how much space I'm going to do between the two columns. If I want to do just a half inch, I think I'll probably do close to an inch. So anyway, mine will end up being, you know, it works better for me than a long, long, long band. Although if I could have found, because then there is a, um, they have a stitch along group for this stitch along on Facebook. And some of the stitching bands that people are stitching on are gorgeous. They have like crocheted edges and they look so nice. And I have scoured the internet looking for them. I mean, I would have paid to have imported those in if I could have found that fabric that a couple of these women were using. I mean, and for all I know, they're in these itsy bitsy towns in Germany and you know, it's been sitting in an LNS since 1982. I don't know where they got it. Another one speak English. <laughs> so, and I didn't think to ask anybody, hey, where'd you get that? Because, well, I just didn't. I didn't work on this this month, so I'm going to put this away. I'm just pulling things out of my bag now. Okay, and last thing I've worked on recently was Stargazer. <sighs> Hallelujah, she's getting there. She's getting there. She wants to be done so bad. I want her to be done. And I kind of feel like working on her tonight. I just might. Just might. So last night, while I undo this. Sorry. Blim. Last night, the first official day of summer, we had told the girls you guys can stay up late tonight. And they're like, as late as we want? I go, sure. Well, 9.30, Elizabeth's falling asleep, which I knew I was going to put him to bed by 10 o'clock anyway. And I told him, you know, okay, let's go. It's time to get ready for bed. And Abby's, but I want to stay up till 12. I said, Mama doesn't stay up till 12 anymore. Especially when I'm sick. I'm falling asleep at 11. 
So we get them to bed, reading their story. Elizabeth passes out immediately. By 10 o'clock, she's out. And that's probably the latest she's been up in a long time. And she was up at 6 this morning, wide awake. Thank God an iPad. She's up. Wow. Ben let me sleep, which I was very grateful for. And I noticed that she was kind of, she sounds congested. They're moving the mouse. My mouse. I'm washing my mouse. Somebody's picked it up and they're moving it upstairs. I'm just trying to make sure they're not going to X out the program without realizing they do it. Okay. Sorry. That was just kind of weird. My computer's been invaded. Um, she fell asleep this afternoon about 2 o'clock and slept for over two and a half hours. She hasn't napped in the afternoon in a long time. And I noticed um, she came and got in bed with me during the night. I noticed she sounded congested. And yesterday there were a couple times that she was kind of <laughs> sniffling. I'm like, no, you caught my cold. And she has. She's Her eye was all watered. Her right eye waters a lot when she gets congestion. Um, if she gets fever. If she gets sick of any kind, that eye, unless she's puking, that eye is watery. It doesn't get red, it just waters. And I mean, it's a little red because of that, but it's just watery. I always thought it was, you know, her sinuses, but it's not always a sinus issue. It's, just, I don't know. So, Stargazer, <clears throat> we are working on the bottom. The top, okay, her head, her, she is beaded to her waist. I believe that's all fully done. I'm Hitting the bottom of the ever, never, ever, ever ending skirt. I want so bad to finish her. I was stitching the skirt part while watching Anne with an E. And if you haven't watched that yet on Netflix, you need to watch it. It's amazing. It is a little different from the Megan Follows, or Fellows. Is it Fellows? Megan Fellows? Um... The Anne of Green Gables from the 80s. It does divert a small amount from the book. It's more real. It's a little darker of an Anne of Green Gables, but it's more real, if that makes sense. There are, you know, it's commenting on... She's not showing um, that she was ever, like, molested in any way. But they start talking about how some girl and... The teacher, they're having intimate relations. And the other girls are like, what? And she's like, well, with the people that she lived with beforehand, the family that she lived with, <clears throat> they did things like what they had seen the girl and the teacher doing. They were just being all googly-eyed at each other, you know, holding hands secretively, because, you know, they're not supposed to. And she's all, they're having intimate relations. I know, I know what it sounds like. And, those girls, of course, go home and tell the parents. The parents freak out, you know, with the uh, Marilla and Matthew, that you can't have that girl in our town. She's bad news. And they said, you need to think it not what she did, but what she has gone through to think that that's normal. I was like, you know, that kind of hit it on the head. Because a lot of these kids, especially kids with, you know, in and out of either foster homes or you know, that aren't being cared for properly. It's not always, it's not their fault. It's look at the situation they're in and what they've come to think is normal. So anyway, it's, it's good. Um, Abby loves Anne of Green Gables and we've read several different kid versions like the Usborne books. And there's a couple from the library, like Penguin books has a very, you know, like a 32 page version. Um, we started watching and like halfway through the first episode, she got bored and wandered off. She's, it just takes too long. <laughs> they weren't even at Green Gables yet. And she's, so I was, once I saw more episodes and saw how parts of it are, I'm glad she didn't pay a lot of attention. There'd be other times she'd be watching and I'd say, oh, look, this is the part where, you know, Gilbert's going to call her carrots and pull her hair. And she'd stop and she'd watch that and she'd go off her way. So someday she may want to watch all of it and that's fine, but it's really good. It was a really good show. I really like it. I 
have no idea what those Q snaps. Oh, we go to that, don't they? Sorry, I have Q snap clamps sitting here, and I can't think of what to go to. That's never a good sign. Okay, so I have. Oh, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I did Kindred Spirits for Abby. This is by um, Barbara Tingsley for Pedal Pusher on Etsy. So if you look on Etsy, just look up either Kindred Spirits Cross Stitch or Pedal Pusher. She has three different Anne of Green Gable designs. There's Little House um, on the Prairie, Willy Wonka. There's some Wizard of Oz. Candyland, I think. So Abby picked out the fabric color. This is... Oh, it's actually like a lime green. She loves green. So it's not thick enough at all, is it? It looks kind of yellow. But I changed the boots. They were just blocks. Like I took out two um, stitches. So you can see where they actually look like shoes before they were just two rows of four stitches of black. But look, they're too blocky. And then the eyes were black. I switched them to match the girls. Um, because Abby looks like Anne and Elizabeth looks like Diana and I lengthened Diana's hair it was for me it was too short so they both look much more like my girls now and I changed their smiles a little bit they were very square and I just made it just a touch diagonal just a touch so Abby wants it in a frame on her wall that's gonna be a little bitty frame it might feel, you know probably fit a four by six but I just used DMC's and I didn't switch out any other I used the blue pinks purples it called for I did that one day I was sick this week that was fun and I had two bits of haul so down Sunshine Lane, and I think a couple other shops have had these new Bohin, Bowen, is it Bowen? Bohin. Um, scissors come in. They look like kitty. Aren't they cute? I got the pink fuchsia. Fuchsia. They had fuchsia blue. Okay, pink, purple, blue. I'm not sure what they called which is fuchsia. And then it came with a um, tape measure. Um, down Sunshine Lane had them. I think they were $11, 11 dollars 50 But I thought they were so cute. Oh, I also got some new needles that I love. They are um, Pat's favorite needles. Cindy Sorley sells them. Um, she's on Facebook. If, you, if you're on Facebook, if you Google or just search... Um, Pat Carson needles. They're amazing. They're they're really nice needles. They're like a dollar each, but they're worth it. And I'll be getting more. Many, many, many more. I also got the keepsakes, um, the calendar. This is the book that has the patterns in it. So you get your calendar, then you also get this book. It used to have, years ago, the um patterns in the back of the calendar and I'm glad they don't do that now but here are a couple of them I ordered this mainly for the hot air balloons which I will be stitching and now I really like the turkey I really want to do the turkey he's huge I mean he's a big turkey and it's all in 938 just in one shade of brown and I think if I do it I'll do it in a variegated brown just to make him more fancy and I like the cornucopia too, but I don't know. It says very 70s to me for some reason. And I like the winter house. It's really fun. And there is the show it without showing you pattern. This is what I want. And it is stitched on hand dyed by Stephanie. Oh, is it winter solstice? Winter, winter. Winter Solstice Ada, 14 count, with three strands of cotton floss or one strand of Krynic. <coughs> I won't be stitching it with three strands. I don't do that. That's not cool. 
Um, but I'm almost thinking because of all the, oh, and there's French knots with Krynik. The white, all the pretty stars in the sky is white Krynik French knots. Those may turn into beads. Just might become beads in my house. But I really like it. Oh, I love those. Ooh, that bag's pretty too. I didn't see that before. June. Look at that. That's really pretty. A lot of them are really pretty. I like the flowers too. So, that's that. I think that's it. We don't have a whole lot. Yeah, so school's out. Summer school starts next Thursday. From 8 to noon. It's wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very, very sad that Elizabeth has finished pre-K. I'm excited that she'll be... I don't know. I, I, You know, I'm sure all you moms have had this, though. I'm torn on her being gone all day. I just... Ugh. Cause she's always been, you know, she's my baby. I don't want her gone all day. I like our afternoons together. Um, you know, even though she's in school, you know, three mornings a week, but we've had our afternoons and then now I don't have them at all. Cause now they won't go home after four. Um, but she's, she's so excited about, she's going to ride the bus with Abby and I'm going to be a daisy. I'm a girl scout now. I mean, she's, She's a Girl Scout. And Abby's best friend is moving away, seven hours away, which, that's heartbreaking to me, because she, she found her person, you know? She found her best friend. And this girl's amazing. She's such a sweet little girl. And I'm just, it's, I mean, it's better for, you know, for their family. What they're doing is, is good for them. But it just breaks my heart that Abby's losing her best friend, and she doesn't realize that they're seven hours away. She's, well, we can do play dates. No, no, we can't. We're seven hours away. Maybe we can meet in Omaha halfway, you know, for every couple of years in the zoo, but it's not going to be the same. So I'm real sad for her, but yeah. So that's about it. So I need to go blow my nose and my throat's starting to hurt. So. Have a good stitchy week, month, whatever, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.